Thank you for joining me. Well, part two to part one of Spawn in the Bulk didn't go the way it would normally go. And a lot of it, it's my fault. This tub that we spawned 11 11 2024. So now it's 60 days into fruiting and it still hasn't fruited. And a lot of it is intentional. As you can see, there's a lot of condensation on that lid. But you don't really see a lot here. But if you look at other areas of the tub, there's condensation. And I was kind of using this grow to tune in my grow environment. What I noticed is after I spawned the bulk, it kind of worked out like the way I thought it would compared to having a colonization lid on top. This extra volume, you had more aerodynamics in there, and it started condensating right off the bat. Uh, probably four or five days after we put the plugs in. I didn't want to lose that moisture from the substrate because that's where it's coming from. It's evaporating down here and it's collecting up here and on the sides. Um, what I did, say like this is the ceiling of my room and this is my floor. When I had the tub sitting three feet off the ground, it would condensate quite a bit. And I was tempted to throw the filter was on, but I just didn't want to take a chance of not having enough moisture in the substrate to have a decent flush. So when it was that three feet high in the room, it would condensate a lot. What I did is I moved it higher up, closer to the ceiling. And then since it was warmer up there, the condensation slowed down and it dried up. And then I was kind of, that's, that's when the gears started turning. And I have ran this culture quite a few times. I noticed over time that the great white monster likes to have more time to germinate in fruit, kind of like a, a penis envy does. So I was like, I was wondering if I could stall this out as much as I can and see if it might produce some different phenotypical expressions than I normally got. So I've been doing this over a 60 day period, but it's gotten away from me. And if you look in the back corner, we got a lot of water pooling over there. And the mycelium has some hydrophobic properties, but it, you know, you gotta look at it. Like if we had that water sitting on our skin for, weeks we would be very uncomfortable and it wouldn't make good surface conditions so the next step is we're going to move this over into the flow hood because i got to be more careful because each one of these water droplets is almost like an inoculation point for contaminants what my plan is i got a syringe and we're going to try to pull off as much as that water off the substrate as we can. And then we're going to put the filters on and give it more air and we'll see if we can get it to fruit. A lot of pinheads are down there, but there's also a lot of water. But if these don't help it kick into fruiting, another option I got is this grill chamber. So this is a 66 quart. I control the relative humidity with an inconsistent pad. Sometimes I use the fan, but I made a video about this and it's, it's all pretty much my go-to. If we can't get it 
to fruit with the filters, we'll get it to fruit this way. So next step is, I'm not gonna lift this top off over here in dirty air. We're gonna do this in front of the purified flow. So I'm gonna move that over there and then we'll continue. Alrighty, we're back here in front of the purified flow. I'm just kind of blown away with the surface tension of this water droplets. I don't know, makes me kind of nervous even trying to open up that lid to get that excess moisture back there out. So I think the best bet is to spray this tub down, pull the plugs out, and put the filters on and leave it right sitting here in front of the purified flow and see if we can uh, maybe evaporate it. And uh, if I feel comfortable moving the lid around, I'll try to get that excess water out of it. So for right now, just gonna put the filters on and uh, see how it goes. Just gonna spray this all down with 70% isopropyl alcohol. I didn't want to move it around very much. So I got a little bit of isopropyl on my paper towel. Let's get the first patch out. So, that's the rim around it. That's the adhesive. And we're going to try to do our best to center it. I was wondering, I wonder if I get a better eye view if I backlit it, if I would be able to see better. It's supposed to be magnetic. Sometimes I struggle lining up the stick-on filters for my grain jars, and I found that backlight in the hole makes it a whole lot easier. Maybe we'll see with it up there. Oh, see that water move? Oh, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Sweet. We don't even need to worry about it. Two more to go. I thought these plugs were going to come out hard, too. Last one. So there's that. Maybe what I'll do is on the back side, the air is hitting this one filter, and it's also hitting this filter. So maybe you might get like some circulation of air in there. So I'll, for right now, let's see if this clears up and uh, we'll come back to it. Well, it's been about 24 hours. And a lot of that excess moisture in there has cleared up. A lot of it on the lid of it has cleared up. But in that back corner, that whole side's 
it's hard to pick it up with the camera. But from there to there, it's all a pool. So we're going to have to take that out. I, I don't trust it sitting there. If this was evaporating faster, I might let it go. I thought about tilting it and maybe getting the water over here on the core. Um, I just don't think it's going to absorb. And if there is a possible contaminant going on over there, that that mycelium is handling. If I tilt that and get that water over here, it might infect that. So what I got... Got a big syringe, cut tip and angle, and then let's see if we can get that water out of here. Plus, I'm going stir crazy not having my area. So, I'm gonna mount this camera and let's get to it. I thought about drying this up. I think we can get that tip there, open up that corner. We can do it without upsetting the mycelium too much. Another way I've done this is by taking a paper towel like this. Using my tweezers and then if you rip it, you have all those fibers right there to pull the water up. And uh, it works pretty good, but still, if you're touching an area of contaminant, and you know, so I'm gonna spray down my lid a little bit, spray down my hands, and then I spray down. That's all. And let that air dry a little bit. So I've been thinking about and I think I can lift it with one hand and reach with the other and get it. I'm trying to my tube isn't fitting in the syringe. Wow. Alright, let's get this over. That worked out pretty good. That was quite the amount of water sitting on that. That wouldn't have lasted long. So, I'm glad it's out of there. Really not seeing much water movement anymore. All right. Quit messing around. So, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put this back down closer to the floor where it is cooler. So it condensates. We're going to keep it up higher in the room. Hopefully this will clear up, and uh, we'll get a decent frost. Really hoping to get something that I haven't seen. That's some of the fun I like with mycology. And uh, put this in its spot to finish out the fruiting. If I start a project, there will be an end. We're 24 hours later after extracting that excess water off the mycelium. You can see I'm, I'm right up close to the ceiling. And if you look at the top here, we're clearing right up. Like I don't have any condensation. So the elevation and getting more air in there is really making a 
a difference. But I got something that worries me. But back in that corner right there, that's where I disrupt surface conditions. And I can't zoom in anymore. But you can see it's right there. But it's not holding any water, and that's what drew my attention to it. I just noticed that that could be possible issue later on but if you look those little bitty knots and pins they're like in the fresh air you can almost see just like overnight giving that excess air back here in this corner it's all fuzzy lifting up trying to get above that probably trying to get above a co2 layer too so 24 hours looking good let's see how it goes the rest of the way thank you for watching and please like and subscribe have a great day